she's on a diet you know she can't eat this like people make these like little weird little snickery little comments because that's not where they are in life hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is sierra for those who are new don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads so here on my channel we are all about creating a life you love so with that being said we're gonna hop right in so today i want to just talk about being authentically you now this is something that was kind of tricky for me because i feel like what i portrayed on the outside was not me so how can i be authentic about this person you know i feel like just pertaining to my weight loss journey i would get a lot of people saying to me oh you need to be happy where you are maybe god wants you to look like that um here's another one um be happy where you are it's other people who weigh bigger and stuff like that be happy you're alive be happy that you have legs like it was just it started to piss me off honestly um like just hearing that over and over again it just really started to piss me off because like I was really trying to navigate it like who authentically am I because I didn't feel like who I had been for so long I kind of got to the point to where I was like yeah no that's not gonna work for me um, I knew I desired to be smaller. I knew I desired to lose weight. I knew I desired to be a fit chick. Um, I want to be a person that was up in the gym, looking good, admiring her body. Um, and I don't know why in society that's like such a wrong thing or like taboo or like, oh, she's that gym girl. Oh, she's on a diet. You know, she can't eat this. Like people make these like little weird little snickery little comments because that's not where they are in life but if that's where you want to be in life go for it sis and it didn't it 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 kind of took me some time to really figure that out and me specifically i was kind of talking to my therapist a few months back because i did have to do a little bit of therapy um as you guys may know if you've been following me or if you don't know, um, I got a partial thyroidectomy back in May, which caused me to gain a whole bunch of weight. Um, and it's been a little bit tricky getting it off. Um, I kind of went through this headspace of, oh, do I have cancer? Do I have not have cancer? And it was just like a lot on me emotionally. And I had to kind of grieve that process. Um, so if you want to hear a little bit more about, you know, my experience, I'll be sure to link the video above. Now, I was kind of just talking to my therapist and... I feel like right now everybody is just have your own business, be an entrepreneur, don't work a nine to five. And like I have multiple businesses, but it's not something that like felt authentic to me. And I was just kind of talking to her and I was like, and she was like, so what feels authentic to you? I want to be a gym princess. Like that's what I want to be. Like that, and it's, it's no job description for, you know, a gym princess or whatever. But that is something that I desired. And it, it, I feel like to me, it felt cringe to say that, especially not being where I want to be. But what I do know just about life in general, sometimes you have to show up for who you want to be and not who you are right now. So what I actually did was... I kind of just evaluated some things like for me when I go to the gym I look pretty sloppy I'm not even gonna hold y'all up um hair is number one issue when it comes to the gym so I really haven't found a fix for that yet uh, most of the time I have a sew-in so that kind of works but like right now I'm wearing my natural hair and it just does not go with the gym like I just did my hair today um, it's gonna be ruined tomorrow when I go to the gym but I also just always usually just dress in like big t-shirts and leggings at one point my t-shirts were a little bit smaller but when I gained all the weight I kind of stole all my boyfriend's t-shirts and I wear his t-shirts to the gym and now he doesn't have any t-shirts because I wear all his t-shirts to the gym but now like his t-shirts are too big for me and my leggings are too big for me and it was kind of just like I was still wearing them like I don't know why I'm still wearing them like why wouldn't I celebrate myself and get a new size clothes you know um so that is something that I did I did order a few workout pieces that I will show you guys at the end of the video with a kind of like a little haul because I decided I want to dress like the fit girl that I want to be you know I may not 100% be where I want to be right now but I've made progress um, you know, I lost two pant sizes and two shirt sizes, so why not celebrate that 
and dress for my body size and i think that's something important for people on their weight loss journey like don't go celebrate yourself with a milkshake or fries like celebrate yourself with some new gym shoes celebrate yourself with those luxury leggings like i really want some lululemon leggings but um they kind of expensive but i do want to get some so next time i celebrate myself i may get myself some lululemon leggings but i just ordered a few things you know i'm size medium now so i need to have medium pants and even when i tried these on this uh initially like i had to send a lot of the stuff back because it was too big and it's just like why do you want to wear your clothes big like why like i couldn't understand why i was still dressing as if i was some fat girl so that is something that I had to get out of that mindset. I think it's really just, it has to be some sort of trauma and just always wanting to stay in your trauma or always show up for your trauma. But show up for the victory, I think it's where I am in life. Um, You know, I had the surgery, everything went fine. Um, the nodule was benign. Um, so now it's just to the point where I have to get back to me, you know, start showing up for me and who I want to be. Um, you know, I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that person who was living in fear. I'm not that person who was just depressed and anxious and all of that. Like, I'm a new person and it's okay to change. But I do want people to know that it's okay that you don't, that you aren't happy with your body. Um, and you want to change it. I feel like we live in a society where people are so sensitive um, to being like overweight or they're saying you're fat shaming and things like that and it's not about fat shaming if you authentically feel that you're not supposed to be a big girl in your body then that means you need to start showing up for the fit girl that you want to be so that's what I have to tell myself kind of like every day like it's a work in progress um and it's something that you have to tell yourself some things I like to do is when I'm done with my workout I like to sit in the sauna and do like a guided meditation as far as like what I want in my dream life I mean it just kind of helps me visualize where I want to be and I kind of do this while I'm working out just get on Pinterest look at like workout clothes look out look at body goals kind of thing and like a lot of people my age are like going to pay for bodies like a lot of us haven't even had kids and we're paying for bodies and I just I, I just don't really want to do that just yet I have no problem against like plastic surgery or anything because I think honestly I have one problem area that will need some sort of surgery assistance so I don't judge anybody for it but for me I really want to work as hard as I can to build the body that I want um, so I think that is something that is important to me and important to my journey and something that is authentic to me. And I don't want people screwing with my head saying that, oh, you should just be happy with the way that you are. Be happy that you're, the skin that you're in. Like, and the thing is, like, if you can change it, then change it. Don't sit around and be sad on the inside and faking for the internet. Like, oh, I'm happy and I'm confident when you're really not. And this goes for things beyond weight loss because, like... I honestly like I've always had this weird like insecurity about my teeth and like it's not like I have any like really like wild crazy teeth like gaps or anything like that I had like a little crowding like in my bottom row of teeth and I actually just started Invisalign so if I sound a little funny that's why so I'm on my week two of Invisalign and I just wanted to kind of straighten them out a little bit so I can feel more comfortable speaking and not thinking, oh my God, they're staring at my mouth or I'm not comfortable with how my teeth look. When I go back to edit my videos, like it's not always even about like what people think, but it's how you feel in the moment looking back at yourself or in the moment like, oh. Oh, I'm thinking about this I'm thinking about that but I think it's important to just show up for the person that you are on the inside and it may not be who you are on the outside and it's okay to change that it's okay to be different it's okay to be different from your family it's okay to be different from who you've been in the past so um like I said I ordered you know just some new workout clothes so I could stop showing up as the frumpy girl in the gym showing up like I'm still like 200 pounds like because that's not me so um, stay tuned, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul and then we're gonna close the video out. Just some pieces that I got uh, for my workouts. 
Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So go now, what you do That's why I'm spend my life with you I won't please you in any way I can I won't share my world, don't you understand? Oh, 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 oh,